Hi, welcome to Chris Cook for YouTube. Let's get started with today's recipe. Today we're making corned beef and cabbage, so let's get started with the ingredients that you're going to need. And this is going to be crock pot corned beef and cabbage. Of course, you're going to need the cabbages, one onion, a bay leaf, one bay leaf, some salt, and you're going to need the corned beef. Now, this is going to be probably the easiest dish you will ever make. And the reason be is because you really don't need to season it. You see that season package? This will come inside of your corned beef. So once you wash your corned beef and put it in the crock pot, the only thing you do is open that seasoning package and put it all over there. That's all you need to do. That's it. Nothing more. Then you allow this to cook in your slow cooker for probably about four hours, which is what I'm going to do before you start to add other ingredients, excepting you're going to add these in the beginning. Now, I do. You don't necessarily need to do this. You can make it with just adding this pack. That's all you really need. But I add a little bit of additional flavorings because I'm going to have my cabbage in there as well. So I'm adding the onion, the bay leaf, and the salt. So I'm going to go away, wash this, and I'll meet you at the sink. Be right back. I wanted to come back just to show you about this core. You see that little core right there? That part you normally don't eat on the cabbage. Some people do. And if you have like it's all together, you can take your knife around to get this out. But the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to cut it on one side like making a V and cut it on the other side. And then I'm going to go in and just lift it out. Okay. And that's how I get it out. I'm going to show you again because that part you don't want to eat. That's a little bit tough. So now some people do eat it and that's fine. You know, it's your own preference. But if you want to get it out, it's best to just make like a V. And if you look at it before I lift it out, if you look at it, it has like a V shape right there. So you want to make it like a V. And then you want to just go ahead and lift it out. And that way you're not eating that hard core. Now I'm cutting this on my eye bamboo mart. And you remember I gave you a little demonstration on that cutting board. And this is good for things of this type because I don't want to mess up my, um, my table. And I'm also using my Kuma knife. And this knife is fantastic. I'm just going to tell you again. I love this knife. I use this knife for pretty much everything. This knife is super sharp and I love it. I truly do love it. Now I'm going to put the onion inside and allow it to cook with my corned beef when my corned beef is cooking. And then I'll come back and I'll put the um, cabbage in a little bit later. But before I cut that, I wanted to show you something else. Oh, these are the outer leaves. And we've talked about the outer leaves of the cabbage before. And what you want to do with the outer leaves is you want to start them to cook a little bit uh, longer than you do your inner leaves. See, because these are darker in color than this is. So this is going to take a little bit longer to cook than this actually would. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and roll that and maybe about... Um, two hours into the cooking process you want to go ahead and put this in with your corned beef and start it to cook now i just want to come back and show you this because a lot of times your cabbage will get done but your outer leaves will not be done so you want to make certain that everything is getting enough cooking time especially when you're using your crock pot so i just want to show you these two couple of points and I'm going to go away and get this corned beef. I'll meet you at the sink. Get this corned beef over in my slow cooker. And then I'll put this in a little bit later. Then I'll slice up my cabbage and I'll put that in even later. Now we're going to be using the juices from the corned beef in order to cook the cabbage. So that's going to give it extra seasoning and it's going to make it oh so good. So I'll meet you at the sink. Be right back. Okay, now I'm at the sink and I'm going to take my corned beef. I've already washed it and put it in. And I'm going to put that fat side up. Okay, and that's so all of the liquids can help to base the corned beef. I'm going to put in this bay leaf that I have. 
I'm going to open up this packet. Put that all over my corned beef. I am going to put in a little bit of salt because just for me, I mean, you can taste yours, but for me, it's never salty enough when I get to the end of it when my cabbage is done. So I have to add salt. So to prevent that, I'm just going to do it. Now, this is a five pound corned beef between five and six pounds. So I'm going to go ahead and put in four cups of water. I'm going to close this up. Cut it on, and I'm going to allow this corned beef to cook at least three to four hours before I do anything else, and I'll bring it back at that point. Be right back. Okay, now this has been cooking about three hours, not I mean a long period of time, but not uh, it's not done yet. It's quite a ways from being done. So I'm going to go ahead and put those, um, the greener cabbage leaves, I'm going to put them in. And I forgot to put my onion in in the beginning. That's when you should put it in. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it in now. Okay, now I'm going to allow this to continue to cook. And I'll bring you back when I get ready to mix the cabbage down in. Be back. Okay, now I'm back and I have my cabbage already cut. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it down in the pot. I took the corned beef out. And now I want my cabbage to cook. And I am about one hour from completing this entire process. Okay, now as you know, the cabbage will shrink down. So my cabbage is back in. And I'm going to go ahead and put my corned beef back on top. And I like my corned beef a little overcooked because I like to sh to uh, string it. I don't cut it evenly. I just go ahead and string it. So I'm going to put this top back on and allow it to cook for the last hour. And I bring it back, show you what it looks like. Be right back. Okay, now I'm back and the corned beef and cabbage is done. And this is going to be two ways to cook corned beef and cabbage. So I'm just showing you the first way. But I want to show you how I shredded that all over the top of my cabbage. What I did was I just put it, uh, took the whole loaf of cabbage, okay, and I just pulled it with two backwards forks. So that's all you have to do if you want to get the same effect that I got. Now, let's dish this corned beef and cabbage up. And everything should be seasoned to perfection. You shouldn't have any problems with it because that packet is enough seasoning. The only thing that you may need to do is exactly what I need to do. And that's add just a little bit more salt. But you can always add that salt at the end of the cooking process. Now, now this is quite a healthy plate. So... I probably this is just for presentation purposes and I'll probably just put some of that back because that's an awfully lot now by now you would have seen the um, video that has this bacon onion cornbread in it and this is turnover cornbread in the skillet so I showed you how to make that first before I posted this video and this video is going to show you corned beef and cabbage this way and then it's going to show you roasted um, corned beef so this is what I'm having for my dinner is corned beef and cabbage with my onion and bacon bread and I'm telling you you could take this corned beef and cabbage and turn it into a southern meal by adding this so I'll be right back with the next part of this video Okay, now I'm at the sink getting ready to start my second corned beef. So this is the one that I'm going to roast in the oven. So let me just show you the ingredients that you're going to be needing. And I'm going to post yours at the bottom of the video. You're going to need thyme, basil, paprika, garlic powder, salt, and this is the little packet of seasoning that I showed you in the beginning that came with your corned beef. It's in your corned beef packet. So you're just going to go ahead and mix that in with the other ingredients that I just mentioned. 
Now for this, in order to get more flavor, I'm just going to go ahead and pierce this. Now this is about a five to six pound roast and I pierced it maybe in about six places and I'm going to go ahead and put some seasonings inside of the little piercings. Now you're going to push them as far down in as you can get them. Now this is only going to add more flavor to your corn. Okay, so there's several ways to make corned beef, but this is just another one. And when you pierce it, it brings more flavor into the corned beef. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rub the rest of my seasonings all over my corned beef. I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I did paper towel. dry this corned beef. Now I'm putting just a little bit over in my skillet at the bottom. I'm going to rub this in. Now I'm going to place this with the fat side up over inside of my roasting pan. I'm going to allow this to roast in my oven for approximately three hours at 350 degrees. Now, I'm going to add some potatoes and carrots around this when it's about one hour from the finished cooking process. So I'll bring you back at that time and show you how to do that. Remember, 350 degrees for three hours. At the end of two of your hours, go ahead and add whatever vegetables you're going to add around to eat it with. Go ahead and add that. And then I'm going to cover it and finish the cooking process. So I'll be back at that time. Okay, now I'm back in the corned beef and the potatoes and carrots is all ready. And that's how it came out. And I did slice it. Let me see if I can just sit this top down. Yeah. Okay, I want to show you this particular piece right here because that's where, remember when we put the seasonings in, when we pierced it, that's the seasoning. So, I made this one with potatoes and carrots and I did the other one with the straight corned beef and cabbage. Now, that's what Chris is doing today. She's showing you different ways to make corned beef and cabbage corned beef, roasted corned beef, and corned beef and cabbage. So, uh, I want to tell you that we have the Q&A scheduled for October the 3rd at 7 o'clock in the evening. Yay! Mark your calendar. That's something that you do not want to miss. We're going to have a lot of fun that night, and I look forward to it. I'm very excited about it. So I hope to see you that night. And as always, thank you for watching. Chris Cook for you too. Bye.